There we go. There we go. This is a good bass. This is a good bass. Big one, big one, guys, big one. Oh my gosh. Stay down, stay down. Welcome back to Rip Fishing, guys. I'm out here at uh, one of my favorite ponds of Fleming Island. We've had some uh, colder weather lately, some days in the uh, high 30s, low 40s, uh, but today has gotten up into the 70s, so we're gonna get out here and get some fishing done and see if we catch anything. There we go. This is a good bass. This is a good bass. Big one, big one, guys, big one. Oh my gosh. Stay down, stay down. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Oh my gosh, that's a big one. Huge. Oh my gosh, that's a big bass. Holy crap. Big bass. Oh my gosh, look at the mouth on that thing. <sighs> okay, let me get this back up here. I barely had him skin hooked on one hook. <sighs> wow. Oh, I, I gotta get this thing weighed. I gotta scale on the truck. Look at that. It barely popped out the hook. Oh, I barely got that guy in then. He's so big, I can barely fit him in the frame. All right, let's get this guy back in the water. Oh, he's ready to go. And there he goes. Wow, that is the most fun I've had in a bass in a long time. That was a big guy. Unfortunately, I went to go get my scale. My scale's broken. The batteries were rusted on the backside. So that's a disappointment, but that was a lot of fun. Have to get a new scale then, but man. That was amazing. Wow. That guy was caught on just doing this speed cranking technique with a square bill. Um, if you guys watch Tactical Bass and they talk about it all the time, you just crank, 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 stop, crank, stop, crank, stop, and it just triggers a uh, reaction strike. Even right now, if they uh, are, might be lethargic. But man, that was a whole lot of fun. That was a big guy. I wish I could have known what he weighed, but it is what it is. I didn't want to keep him out of the water too long. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. That is awesome. I was praying for that right before I caught it. Oh, there's bass feeding out there right now. So he hit it actually on a stop. You know, burn, 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 pause, burn, pause. And then as I paused it, I felt a boom. 
and then he just loaded up on it. Whoa, look at that. They're feeding right up on the bank right there. That's definitely the biggest bass I've caught in a while. So they're feeding over there still, just kind of out of my cast flank for this. I am going to try to get this bluegill swim bait over there. I can throw it a lot further. There we go. There we go. Nice. That's the first one's bluegill. They are chomping today. Look at that. Choked it. That's the uh, mega bass uh, sleeper gill. There he goes. It's a good sign, right? First cast with it. And I just lost it. That's frustrating. There they are again, schooling. All right, what are we gonna try? We get on get on the other side of these little wooded area and see if I have more room to cast over there. They seem to be a little bit more towards that uh, bowl mouth area than inside here. Definitely schooling and pushing up big fish. All right, I definitely can hit it better from over here. See where they're at. Oh wow, look at that right there, right there. There we go. Got him, got him, got him. Oh, this is another big one. Oh, he got off. No. He got off. Okay, oh, let me see if I can get back into the top water. Oh! Oh! I think I got it, I think I got it. I hooked the line. My line snapped up that high on that bass. That is not a good sign for this fishing line. I had two I just missed, one on top water and one on the crank. I thought it was my, uh, my knot. All right, let's, uh, let's clean up this line. I'm not gonna leave it here. Good thing is though, the lure's not stuck in the bass's mouth somewhere. I mean, if you wanna look at the best case scenario with your line snapping, that is the better scenario. Which, 
check a drag. Loosen it up a little bit. Fortunately, this reel's getting old and it's kind of breaking, so I need to get a new one. So yeah, it looks like they might be schooling them again. I just saw something jump. But man, when they were schooling them, they were schooling them hard. I think that may have been carp. There we go. There we go. This is another good one. This is another good one. Gotta take me in the shallows again. I can't get you. Oh yeah. Not as big as that first one. That's a good guy. Oh yeah. It's another fatty. That's a good one right there. Turned out to be a really, really good, once again, barely flesh hooked. Probably should update these hooks then. Nope, there they are schooling them again. All right, guys, I cannot reach it with this tree in the way. I am taking off my shoes and wading in the water. Oh, that's cold. Ooh. That is some cold water. All right, now I got the whole shoreline I can reach. Uh, last cast, I'm actually gonna head back to the spot we started because they're pushing, oh, is that it? To push him further down the uh, shoreline now where I was. All right, let's do that. Wait a minute. What did I just hit? Oh my gosh, no way. No way. Check this out, guys. I got my sleeper gill back. Oh, thank you, Lord. That's awesome. All right. That's awesome. It gives me a chance to clean up the line out of the pond too. Cool. Oh, thank you, Lord. That's cool. That is cool. So I'm going to need to re-spool this other rod. If it's snapping line and it's not the knot, it's snapping way up inside the reel with this much line being out. I guess it's good it happened on a cast instead of a fish because I would have been that much more upset. All right. Got that line in my mouth. I'm gonna pull the rest out of the pond. Man, what are the chances I was able to retrieve both my lures? How cool is that? That's a lot of line. Well, now that's not in the pond and I will be respooling that rod. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for me. Sun's going down. That was an absolute blast. I have not caught that size of fish in a little while. So definitely seems like they're in full swing for feeding up for winter. 
and uh, man to get that lure back too after losing actually both lures I was able to get back so that's awesome it's a shame that uh, my um, scale wasn't working to weigh the bass but man if I was gonna guess it had been a good seven pounder or so that was a big bass so that was a blast I hope you guys enjoyed the video if do drop me a like I really appreciate it, it helps me out a lot if you're new subscribe and I'll catch you out there in the water